Hi, this is Miss Laurie with West Georgia Gymnastics Center and Noelle is here again today to help us. It is ninja class day, so get ready to do your warm-ups. Let's start with our feet together. And we're going to do our arm circles backwards. One, two, three, four. Arm circles forward. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna do our windmills. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to stretch tall in a big straddle and reach over to our right, over your head. One, two, three, four. And over to the left. One, two, three, four. Now you're gonna reach down to your feet, to the right. One, two, three, four. And over to the left. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to stand with our feet together and squat and then straighten your knees and make a pike. One, two, three, four. Then come back down to your squat and go back up into your pike one more time. One, two, three, four. Now sit down on your bottom in a straddle and we're going to reach in the middle in our pancake stretch. Go as far as you can, reach and try to get your tummy flat to the floor and keep your knees super tight. One, two, three, four. Then sit up and make your butterfly stretch. Put your feet together and put your knees as far apart and down to the floor as you can. And wiggle your knees. One, two, three, Four. Now press them as far as they can go. You can use your hands if you'd like to make them go farther. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to lay on our tummy and push into a cobra stretch. Okay, we're gonna keep our feet together and one, two, three, four. Then do a crouching tiger stretch. Push your armpits to the floor. One, two, three, four. Four. Very good, Noel. Now we're going to stand up and we're going to do our iron cross and we're going to practice our squeezes with our hands. Open our hands wide and then squeeze them tight. One, two, three, four. Open them and squeeze them tight. One, two, tight fist, three, four. Very good. Then get your tennis ball. And we're gonna practice our squeezes with our hands. We're gonna squeeze it tight with our palm up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're gonna turn our palm down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want you to squeeze that tennis ball as tight as you can using your thumb and all your fingers. Squeeze it tight. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now you're gonna pause the video and do it on the same, all the same, on the same hand, on the other hand, okay? All right, now, first today, we're gonna do our chopstick skills. And these are skills you would be doing on balance beams, but we're going to use tape lines. So if you have tape at home, you can make yourself your tape lines and make your circuit like we have. We have two lines that are parallel, one line that's parallel with our couch, and one triangle with tape. And we will show you how we're gonna use those later. First, we're gonna show you our ninja bear walk on the line, okay? You're trying to stay on one line and crawl on your hands and feet and do your ninja bear crawl. Very good, okay? You can practice that several times. Next, you're going to do your spider crawl, and that is with your feet in front and your hands behind you. Ready, go. Okay, trying to stay on the lines. Very good. All right, then we're going to do our straddle jumps. Okay, we're gonna practice putting our feet apart together, apart together, landing our feet on the lines. Okay, very good. All right, next we're going to do our forward roll and we're gonna make sure we're squatting 
and we tuck our chin, lift our bottom and push. Try to stay in between the lines, okay? All of these skills you can practice several times. We are going to go through this quickly so we can show you everything, okay? Next, we're going to do our spider crawl on the couch, okay? So now you're trying to put your feet up higher than your hands and go sideways and do your inverted spider crawl. Then we're gonna go to the left, okay? So we're doing it both directions. All right, very good. Now we're going to go on to our ninja gymnastics skills. First, we're going to do our handstand, our spider handstand against the wall. Okay, so make sure with mom and dad, it's okay you put your feet on the wall. We're gonna put our hands on the ground and climb our feet as high as we can to the top of the wall as fast and as high as we can and hold it, okay? Keep your arms super straight and strong. See if you can count to 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, next we're going to do our ninja roll over the couch cushion. Remember, you have to keep your arms tucked in. Okay, let's see, tuck your arms in and stand. Very good, let's try that again, Noel. That was super duper. See if you can do it fast. Tuck your arms in, roll and stand. Good job, very good. Next, we're gonna do our ninja cartwheel. We're using our couch cushion. You can use a towel if you don't have a couch cushion. So it gives you a point to put your hands on and kick over. So we're gonna put our hands down and kick around. Good job, and each time you go, you can try to make it bigger and higher. Noel, will you show us how to make it bigger and higher and try to kick high over the top? Big, oh yeah, that was a great cartwheel. Good job. Okay, next we're gonna practice our balance stands. We're gonna use our stool. Okay, we're gonna do our crane, which is we lift our knee up and we hold that position. Try to balance and not fall. Good, see if you can do it and count to 10, then you can try your scorpion. You bend your knee and hold. Very good, let me turn where I can see better so you can see better in the video. Very good, and try to count to 10. All right, next we're gonna get on to something new. Okay, we're gonna try our tripod stand. And that's what we're going to do using this triangle. We're gonna put our hands on the bottom of the triangle and our head on the top of the triangle. And keep your elbows bent and you're going to slowly put one knee on an elbow and then the other knee on your other elbow. And we're gonna to count to 10 and hold that. Okay, now if you can do that, then you can try to slowly lift your legs. Okay, keep them together and hold a headstand. One, two, three, four, five. Come down slow. Good job. That is our big skill for today, doing our tripod and our headstand. That was super. All right, next, before we go, we're gonna talk about how we make a good ninja fist and how we do our hands when we do our kicks, okay? So first, I want you to hold your hand up and make a five. Then I want you to tuck in your pinky and all your other fingers and close them tight. Then put your thumb over your fingers, okay? That's how you make a fist. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. Open and make a five. Then close all your fingers and put your thumb over your fingers. Very good. Then when we do our kicks, we wanna talk about how we do them. Let's sit down for this first. Okay, when you kick, you wanna kick with the ball of your foot. So show us where the ball of your foot is, Noel. Point and show us, very good. So when you lift your leg to kick, you're going to flex your foot, and then when you extend your leg, you're going to push through the ball of your foot. Okay, keep your toes spread out, okay? All right, so standing up, we're going to do our ninja kicks forward, 
When we do those, we're going to keep our wrist in by our ribs and our fist with our thumbs on the outsides of our fingers. And we're going to kick and push. Good. Let's do it again. Kick and push. Very good. Now we're going to do our ninja kick sideways. When we do our ninja kick sideways, our kick arm, the same arm of the leg that we kick, goes to our face and our other arm goes in our ribs. So we're going to hold it up and kick to the side. Very good. Let's do it again. Kick to the side. Yay! All right. So you guys practice your ninja kicks and try to do them really good and tight. Very good for your ninja class today. We'll see you next time.